The movie opens up as a mysterious spacecraft crashes into a lake in Seoul, Korea. It appears to have come from a different galaxy. After a while, a person without clothes slowly emerges and heads to the city. In the next scene, we are introduced to a couple who just got married and are deeply in love with one another. The husband, Man Gil, is a hardworking and intelligent man who does all the housework even though he has an extremely packed schedule. On the other hand, his wife, So He, is always busy chatting with her friends and shopping. She she considers herself the luckiest woman in the world. Later that evening, she attends a high school reunion, an event which they have eagerly anticipated for three years. One of her classmates, named Yang Sun, whose dream is to be an actress, has an embarrassing entrance as she slips and falls down the stairs. However, she hides her embarrassment, claiming that she deliberately did it to practice for her upcoming action movies. As the, <laughs> as the conversation unfolds among the school friends, Yang Sun asks So He about her marital life. Our protagonist girl responds in a positive way, describing her husband as an attractive, intelligent, and dedicated individual who owns a pharma company. A few moments later, the group starts talking about their old classmate Sarah, who apparently spent time in jail after murdering her husband. Why did she do it? Huh, she allegedly caught him cheating on her with other women. After the reunion party, So He arrives home late and finds her husband fast asleep. As she approaches him, she notices a missed call on his phone from an unidentified person. On checking for Further, she discovers various messages, including one that mentions an upcoming meeting with Mangil on Friday. As expected, this worries Sohee, and she starts suspecting that her husband might be having a secret affair outside. To confirm her doubts, she googles the symptoms of a person who is having an extramarital affair. One of the websites claims that these people will always make excuses, saying that they are working overtime. When Sohee reads this, she is dejected, as Mangil gave her the same excuse earlier. My husband works extra hours to pay for my lavish lifestyle. I should kill him! The next morning, she deliberately asks Mangil about his plans for Friday, inviting him to a married couple's get-together. However, he refuses, pretending to have a funeral to attend. In order to support his lie, he claims that the doctor predicted the death of one of his friends on that exact Friday. Upon hearing this response, Sohi's doubts almost transform into certainty. But still, to confirm her suspicions, she seeks the assistance of a detective named Dr. Jang. She pays him a good amount and asks him to keep a close eye on her husband. In the next scene, Dr. Jang embarks on his mission to tail Man Gil and monitor his activities. After closely observing him for an entire day, he meets So He and shares all of his discoveries with her. He reveals that Man Gil first visited a golf course and then spent a two-hour non-stop workout session at the gym. But everywhere he went, he was surrounded by women. Dr. Jang goes on to claim that Mangil has multiple women in his life, excluding So He. Shockingly, he possesses three different marriage certificates apart from hers, and all of his previous wives are either missing or deceased. The most bizarre detail is that he saw Mangil at a gas station where he drank gasoline worth $30. All this information is too much for So He's innocent brain to process, so she simply storms away from there. That night, she contemplates stabbing her husband while he is asleep, but soon retreats. Feeling helpless, so he decides to confide in her friend Sarah and even expresses her desire to have her husband killed. Upon hearing her story, Sarah, who has also experienced four divorces in the past, tells her that a perfect husband does not exist. She also reveals that the rumor about her killing her own husband is untrue, but says that he deserved to die for his actions. Meanwhile, back at home, Mangil is secretly poisoning the water with the intent intention of executing his wife. The following day, So He pays a visit to Dr. Jang's office. During their conversation, the latter begins to suspect that Mangil may not be a normal human being. When So He doesn't understand, he shows her a book called Unbreakable and assumes that her husband is a mutant species from another planet. Dr. Jang is on point. According to Dr. Jang, he has encountered similar cases in the past, but all of his clients from those cases have either vanished or met unfortunate ends. However, so he finds it difficult to accept that her husband is an alien. So, in order to persuade her, Dr. Jang takes her to a gas station, where she witnesses her husband gulping down liters of gasoline, leaving her utterly astonished. The things rich people do for entertainment. On the other hand, the Extraterrestrial Lifeform Quarantine Center, XCOM, arranges a secret 
secret meeting that is attended by space scientists, government officials, and detective officers. The primary objective of this gathering is to capture the aliens who seem to be collecting human DNA and spreading viruses among the human population. As part of their plan's initial phase, they intend to target Mangil, who is believed to be a leader among the alien group. Back at home, so he retrieves a water bottle from the refrigerator, unaware that it is the same one that Mangil had previously laced with poison. And as soon as she drinks the water, she collapses to the ground. Witnessing this, Mangil rushes to her side, feigning concern for her well-being. But as soon as she loses consciousness, he contacts his alien companions, informing them that he has successfully executed his mission. Later, so he is admitted to the hospital, where the doctor delivers the sorrowful news of her demise. Her friends from school, who are also present at the hospital, mourn her untimely death. Moments later, Sarah also arrives, and upon learning of the tragic news, she holds Man Gill responsible. She begins assaulting him physically, while hurling different curse words at him. As all of this is happening, so he suddenly regains consciousness and spits out the poison she had consumed earlier. This obviously shocks Man Gill, but he pretends to be happy. On the following day, he visits a drugstore owned by one of his alien associates in order to purchase a more potent poison. But unbeknownst to him, the detectives have been closely monitoring his activities. Later that night, Mangil engages in a phone call with his fellow aliens, discussing their plan to eliminate Sohi and dispose of her body. He smirks, saying that today is his birthday, and he wants to celebrate by turning it into Sohi's death day. Elsewhere, Sohi seeks assistance from Sarah and Dr. Jang to take care of her husband. After being discharged from the hospital, the trio devises a scheme to use electric current and kill Mangil. Dr. Jang has also created an antidote against the aliens, which he plans to inject into Mangil if their initial strategy fails. Following this, the three of them arrive at Sohee's residence and begin setting up the trap. Dr. Jang inserts an electric line into the bathtub and connects its switch to a remote control that resembles a typical lighter. Just as they finish the setup, the doorbell rings. Believing it to be Mangil, Sarah and Dr. Jang quickly hide inside the bathroom while Sohee answers the door. Unexpectedly, Yang's son is standing on the other side with a gun. She is looking for her boyfriend, who turns out to be none other than Dr. Jang. It is revealed that she received a message from an unidentified number, informing her of her boyfriend's infidelity. Yang's son proceeds to search the entire house, and soon assumes that her boyfriend is hiding in the bathroom. As a result, she forcefully breaks into the bathroom, only to find Sarah taking a dump. The two stare at each other for a while, before Yang's son awkwardly apologizes and leaves. But unbeknownst to her, Dr. Jang is inside the bathtub, hidden behind the curtain. Back in the living room, Yang Sun decides to light a cigarette to calm herself down. She picks up the same remote control lighter and presses its button, inadvertently causing Dr. Jang to be electrocuted and killed. Hearing the loud bang, the three girls rush to the bathroom and start panicking. They fear that they will be caught by the police, so Sarah suggests that they hide the body in the closet. But as they are doing so, Mangil suddenly arrives home, adding to their problems. Fortunately, so he manages to persuade him to take a shower first, but buying them some time. And while the alien lies in the bathtub enjoying music, she seizes the perfect opportunity and presses the button, electrocuting him. The girls then slowly open the bathroom door to check on him, but to their astonishment, Mangil is still alive. In a quick response, they pretend that it was a surprise birthday celebration for him. Later, as the celebrations are in full swing, so he requests him to drink some wine she had secretly poisoned moments earlier. Mangil agrees without any hesitation and consumes it, but he remains unharmed. Shortly afterward, a phone rings from the closet, and Mangil suspects that someone has broken into their house. He carefully goes to the room and opens the closet, only to find Dr. Jang lying there. Surprisingly, the doctor opens his eyes, revealing that he is still alive. But Mangil, who believes that he is an intruder, swiftly knocks him unconscious again. In order to hide their crime, the three girls cleverly suggest that Mangil bury the dead body. But just as they are preparing to leave, Mangil's alien accomplices arrive at their doorstep, intending to assist him in disposing of So He's body as planned. However, since their initial scheme didn't go as expected, they feign a surprise party celebration for Mangil. He invites them inside to have drinks 
drinks and asks them to wait until they return. Mangel and the three girls then make their way to a nearby forest to bury Dr. Jang. Later, while Mangel is digging the grave, so he strikes him with a shovel, rendering him unconscious. The girls then hurriedly start burying the two bodies together, but to their dismay, the alien suddenly pops his head out of the ground, showcasing that he is indestructible. In a state of panic, the girls run towards their car before driving away, but the stubborn alien starts pursuing them with his superhuman abilities and eventually catches up to them. In the end, the car collides with a rock, causing Mangil to fall down a hill. But as for the girls, they are left completely unharmed. In the next scene, the trio returns to Sohee's place, only to discover that Mangil's friends have died from the poisoned wine. <laughs> left with no other option, they load the bodies into their vehicle with the intention of burying them as well. But as they drive towards the forest, they are stopped at a checkpoint by police officers, who soon find out that they are drinking in a drunk state. I mean, dri driving. As a result, they are taken to the police station. Shortly thereafter, Dr. Jang is brought to the same station. It turns out he has survived once again, but has lost all of his memories after the electric shock. The police believe that he is a homeless man who cannot speak. Meanwhile, Mangil is also revealed to be alive, and he climbs up the hill to find himself in a random house. There, he finds multiple containers filled with fuel. Moments after he consumes them, his injuries miraculously heal, restoring his health. He then proceeds to the police station and borrows a phone to call Sohi. When he hears the phone ringing nearby, he discovers the three girls hiding behind him. Mangil quickly seizes the opportunity and bails them out, claiming that they are his friends. He also takes Dr. Jang, promising to drop him off at the nearest shelter. After they depart from the police station, Mangil reveals his true form and intends to kill Sohi and her friends. In a state of fear, Sarah brings out a knife to stab his head, but it still has no effect on the alien. The chaos causes their vehicle to slide down a cliff and flip. Thankfully, the girls manage to escape with just some minor injuries. They then flee the scene, and the alien starts following them. Shortly after, the detectives from XCOM arrive at the crash site and commence a search for Mangil. Among the wreckage, they discover Dr. Jang and take him with them. Meanwhile, the girls seek refuge in an abandoned building to save themselves from the alien. But Mangil has an extraordinary smelling capability, enabling him to track them down easily. Just as he is about to kill So He, the XCOM detectives arrive at the scene. A a fierce battle ensues between the two parties, but Mangil, with his superior powers, defeats the officers one after another. In the midst of the chaos, the three girls manage to slip away from the building and head to the detective's car, where they discover Jang. The doctor appears to have regained some of his lost memories, so he presents them with an antidote he developed against the aliens. Wasting no time, so he bravely administers the antidote into Mangil's body from behind, which ultimately causes him to die, finally ending the intense situation. The scene then shifts to one year later, and we see Sohi, Sarah, and Yang Sun spending time together. They seem to have moved on from the traumatic events that took place last year. None of them have boyfriends, and they intend to live like this for the rest of their lives. The movie ends as Dr. Jang, who is now completely recovered, arrives with flowers and joins them in their happy moments. Dr. Friendzone, I presume. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.